Hi friends. Just popping on here for a couple of minutes to, this is very out of my comfort zone, but to share about an opportunity that I have decided to jump into in 2022. And that is that I have become a beauty counter consultant. And also, yes, I am in my car. I don't know if anyone else finds their car by themselves a very happy place, but I have a couple free moments, which is not happening a lot lately. And I already have my phone set up in my car for directions and Marco Polo to where it's easy to take a video. So hope you love this lovely setting that I'm coming from. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share really quick about Beauty Counter and why I'm even doing this and a little bit about Beauty Counter if you've never heard about it. And I'm really going to try and make this quick because we all only have so much time in our lives and I want this to be valuable for you. But I think probably the easiest way to share is to just start from my personal journey and why I use these products and when I started to. So about two years ago, I was running out of makeup and had some friends who were using Beauty Counter or had just heard a lot of fuss about Beauty Counter in a good way and thought, well, I'm gonna be spending money on some new makeup anyway, so maybe I should try some of these Beauty Counter products. And at this point, I was really just looking to do something simple and was most interested in replacing my makeup. So found out that the Flawless in Five, which is still um, a set through Beauty Counter today um, was probably the best way for me to get started with the makeup because it includes five of their best sellers, foundation, blush, lip gloss, you know, those types of things, the things that you really do use every day in one bundle for you. And I'm very like usually intimidated by makeup and never know what exactly to get. But this was great because you knew it was five best sellers and on the website, as you chose your foundation color, then it would give suggestions for lip gloss, blush, so that all your colors coordinate. So for me, quickly, I'm all about simplicity. So it was simple, it was easy. Um, I knew if the foundation wasn't right, I could return it and try something different. So it really just seemed very risk-free and I kind of just had normal expectations. So when I received the makeup, and that's what I'm wearing today is Flawless in Five, I am using a different mascara. I'm using Honest Beauty Mascara. I love their mascara, so I'll always be honest about that. And I have not by any stretch tried all Beauty Counter products, but I'm here today to say that every single one I have, I have loved. And um, <clears throat> so that was kind of like my gateway into Beauty Counter was the makeup, but I wasn't looking to do anything else crazy or spend a lot of money, um, but I was happy that I had done the makeup set. Well, fast forward to when I got pregnant, um, I've struggled with eczema my whole life. I have very sensitive skin and um, was struggling even more so with my skin when I got pregnant. I was having some dermatitis breakout on breakouts on my face, especially on my eyelids. And um, it hurt to like put makeup on my skin. It wouldn't even matter what kind. It wasn't that the beauty counter was irritating irritating it it was just that my face was irritated regardless and I couldn't put anything on my face so I was super discouraged because when you're sick and pregnant and in a global pandemic and you can't even feel like your face looks right you can get pretty upset and so I thought I was desperate at this point I was like okay maybe I need to try new skincare this does not seem to be working I had been using what what I would call a natural product on my eyes and it was not making it better. It was probably making it worse. And I started to wonder, what does clean beauty even mean? Clean beauty products? Because I knew that was the mission of Beauty Counter. But when I bought the makeup, I wasn't totally bought into the mission. I was just like, these are really beautiful, high performing products. So yeah, sure, I'll buy them. Um, so when I got interested in the skincare and started with some counter match products, um, I was so impressed and it did not irritate my skin at all. It started helping. I had been to the dermatologist and was using some antibiotic type cream on it. Um, but she kind of recommended to, for me to, to stay really clean with the products I was using. And so she gave me a list of approved beauty and beauty, beauty counter products were on there. And I was like, well, I'm already using the makeup. So maybe this is the chance for me to learn more about what this whole clean beauty thing is. And so 
ordered some counter match products and love them and also just realized quickly that the regulations we have on skincare and personal health care products in the U.S. are just not good kind of scary not good the u.s only bans 30 ingredients in our personal care products and there hasn't been a law passed in over 80 years in regards to um, the safety regulations on our personal care products and this just to paint the picture in contrast canada bans 600 ingredients and the european union bans 1400 so other countries have such strict more strict guidelines because it matters and the U.S. doesn't. So all these things can be put on our shelves without the ingredients or the toxins or the risks being um, detailed for us because they don't have to detail them. And so Beauty Counter is awesome for so many reasons, but the two like main reasons in this sphere is number one, they they ban over 1,500 products in all of their products and test them rigorously for safety. And so that's even more than the European Union. And then they're also, they're providing us these products that fix the issue at hand in some way, but they know that the issue is so much bigger than just beauty counter products. This should be um, available to everyone. We should have safe products available to us at Walgreens and CVS. And there are some, but the vast majority are not. And it's because they don't have to be. And so Beauty Counter is lobbying Washington. They're working constantly on getting legislation and there has been some passed to, to just help create more rules and regulations around personal care products in the U.S. And also um, Beauty Counter make sure that how they come about these products is basically they're a B corporation, which is going to a lot more than what I wanted to on this, but it matters because they are caring for humans, for, for child rights and for favorable work conditions in the production of their beauty products because so much of what we have on our shelves, and this is not just beauty, but everywhere, is, you know, it's if it's cheap, it's because someone is being paid under what, what they deserve or children are being forced to do things, you know, child labor wise that are allowed in other countries, but not here. So it's just, it's just a fabulous mission. And I think that it took me a while to get there and for that to matter to me. And I'm not going to say on here cause it wouldn't be true that I, every product I use is completely clean and safe. Um, or that I use a hundred percent natural products and food in every element of my life. I'm not that girl, and but I do have goals to continue to swap out for safe products as it makes sense for my family, especially in regards to our budget. But I, what I quickly realized is that any change, even just one change at a time, is valuable and it starts the process. And so that's kind of my journey with Beauty Counter is just starting with a few products at a time, swapping them out as I get low on another product I was using um, or as budget allows and as I've loved them and just really believe that they are such quality products and high performing. I think it would be hard to stand behind this just for like if they're safe but they perform terribly and they don't do anything for your skin and you feel like it's not helping your skin, it'd be really hard to buy them. You'd still be happy that they're safe, but, and I think that's what it was before. Clean Beauty was like, well, that's great that it's clean, but it doesn't do anything. I want my makeup to be beautiful and fun. I want my skincare to work for my skin to feel soft and rejuvenated. And Beauty Counter does that, which is so awesome. So. For me, it's been really easy to get behind that. I've been thinking about being a consultant for a while just for the discount for my personal care products as I want to continue to build up my um, own inventory of Beauty Counter. But the more I thought about it, I thought, you know, every girl wants to share what's working for them with their friends and family. And so this is what I'm excited about right now. And ultimately, <clears throat> I want to work this in a way that means I can get free products and reduced products into y'all's hands because we all deserve a chance to try this at a budget friendly, in a budget friendly way. And so, um, as I sort of get into this, I'm excited to share some ways that y'all can from the start get some discounts and I'm going to do that. I'm not going to clog this up anymore. I'm going to do that through an email list and through a Facebook group. So please message me. I'll probably post something after this um, for you to sign up 
to get those. Um, they will probably be a once a month type thing. Um, I am not looking to clutter your inbox, but also feel free to always mute stories, unsubscribe. I mean, we all only have so much capacity for what matters in our lives in our season. And so um, we get to choose what goes into, what comes into our lives through social media or whatever it may be. And so please know that I do that myself. And so I understand that this is not a priority in your season or you just don't care right now. I hear you. And also if you are a little bit interested or a lot interested, however it may be, please message me and know that we can chat as much or as little as you want about it. And I'm never going to pester you to buy. If you literally just want to know a little bit and then you're like, it's not for me, or maybe it's for me in six months. Cool. That That's totally totally fine. There's no pressure, no pressure at all. <clears throat> um, and I really don't expect to be doing like a ton of like just throwing things on social media all the time with this. Really just wanted to set this precedent of, hey, I'm doing this. This is why I'm doing it. I'm so excited to share it with you. And I have some lots of fun tips and ideas that go beyond Beauty Counter as well. Really just in like the gift giving personal care world. I love giving gifts and I often think of ideas that um, I put in my own little note or share with my close friends but I think could be valuable to share with other people as well. And I think more than anything I'm just asking the Lord to help me steward this in whatever way he sees fit. Ultimately I want to use it to give back things to y'all, to share the resources and gifts um, that he's given me to bless others. I just think he's equipped each and every one of us with unique personalities and gifts and interests. And, um, he wants us to use them to build his kingdom. And I just pray that, um, in all things I do and in this new venture as well, that I honor him and, um, just share valuable information with y'all. So, let me know if you want to know more. No pressure. I've said that a million times, but I really mean it. You are a true gem if you've made it to, through this 12-minute video. Um, can you tell that I Marco Polo a lot? Um, love Marco Polo, so I'm quite used to doing <laughs> videos like this. Um, just not posting them for more than one person to see. So, thank you for listening. I am sure I missed something that I wanted to share. Um, but basically, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.